Hey everybody, Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. I have another Divi tutorial and this one's going to apply to WordPress as a whole. I'm going to show you how to target specific pages, posts, or custom post types with CSS. So sometimes you want to, you know, change something that's on a post or page or some kind of custom post type that you have, but you only want to target that page or that type of page. And it's really easy to do this and I'm going to show you how to do it with CSS in this tutorial. So let's get started. Okay, so sometimes there is a need to target an individual page or a post or even an entire post type with CSS because you want to apply some styling but you only want it to apply to that page or post or post type. Well, it's actually really easy to do that and to select that with CSS. I'm going to show you real quick some examples of a page, a blog post, a product, and a project. It's very, very simple and there's two, you might say, main ways you could do it. I'm going to show you one of the ways you could do it with just looking for a number when you edit a page. So if I go back here to my example and I click on edit page. Okay, so you'll notice up here in your URL there are is some, you know, you might think it's gibberish, but if you look closely, you'll see a post equals 50. So in this particular situation, my page is has an ID of 50. So back here, how you would target that, you would just type a period page dash ID dash that number. So in this case, it was 291. So this is the syntax that you would use to target a page and this applies to WordPress in general. Not just, you know, your theme or builder, whatever you happen to be using. This is going to be WordPress in general. So page ID and then the number. So then let's say you wanted to make the background red or you wanted to add more classes like uh, your H2, you wanted to be 36 pixels high, something like that and you only wanted that to be on this page. Well, you could just target that by that page. Now, there's a couple other ways of targeting things, and they all involve your uh, inspect tool. Okay, back up. And just as a little note, if you were targeting a blog post, it would be the exact same thing. You could back edit page and find the number, but instead of like page dash ID, it's actually post ID has one word dash the number. All right, so it's a little bit different. So you just have to keep that in mind. Now, that's really not the, the easiest way to do it. There's actually an easier way if you know how to use your browser's inspect tool. So all you have to do, it's really simple. You just go to your page that you want to inspect. And for me, I'm in Chrome, so I'm going to right click inspect and I like to keep this on the right side so with this tool you can go up here and you'll see head and then you'll see body so look under body and you'll see class equals and then you'll see all this in blue so what I want to look for is page template default page page ID 50 there is that page ID 50 that I talked about earlier so I could have just come up here and went in here like this, copied this, page ID 50, and then targeted something on my page using that. And you're going to find this no matter what page or post type you're on, anywhere in WordPress. Now, you'll also notice that it says page, so that's the post type, and then the specific page is, is 50. And that's how you would do it for a page. Now, I'm going to show you a blog post. So I have some examples here. So, you know, since I kept my browser tools open here and I switched to a blog post, look what changed. So now it says post template default, single, and single post. So really, and then, oh yeah, and then post ID, and it gives me the post ID. Remember how I told you it was a little different as like one word. So there's that post ID. Now, if you wanted to target just all of your blog posts, like you're going to make an overall style template for any blog post. You would want to use single post. So single is your post type, but single post is more, it's actually your more specific post type. So anything can be a single 
template. So a project or a product can be single, the single template. And I know it gets a little confusing, but just kind of just worry about the, the single post part, all right? So just add single post and then maybe H1, and then you wanna style that or single post images, you want them all to have a rounded border, something like that. So it would apply across your site just like that within the couple of lines of CSS. So let's switch over to a product and this is gonna be very similar. So single again, this is why we don't want you to just target single if you're referring only to blog posts. Now, if you want all of your headings and all of your images to look the same across your entire website, you could use single, but if you only wanna target products, say, let's say you want product images to be rounded you would look for single product and then you would look later for the class by using the inspect tool. And I'm not gonna show you how to do that in this tutorial, but just know that you can use single product. And you could probably guessed it, if we're looking at a project, very, very, very similar. It's gonna start out with the template and then single and then single project. And then of course the post ID is there as well if you wanted to only target one. All right, so that was just a quick tip on how to target a page or post type with CSS. If you found it helpful, feel free to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll keep releasing more Divi tutorials like this for you. All right, well, we'll see you in the next video.